Hi everybody, Raquel Palmisi here. <clears throat> Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. I'm recording this um, transmission today because I am preparing to lead a retreat this weekend um, and taking care of the millions of little details that are popping up last minute. But I wanted to gather with you today anyway and share with you some thinking and some downloads that have been coming to me very vibrantly recently. I realize that over the approximately two decades that I have been um, doing my work with people, and it has gone through many iterations and changes, but the basic work has always been the basic work. Uh, for me. And as I've been evolving myself, the work has evolved with me. And I realize that one of the most important aspects of the work that I do is that I don't ever try to fix anybody. And that may sound strange because I am in the healing arts network of souls who work with people and um, facilitate their growth and healing. And yet I realize that a lot of the work that is being done, all this wonderful work being done, but a lot of it is focused on fixing what's wrong with us. And that I, I never really realized this, but I have never thought that there's really anything wrong with you. So that being said, yes, we have patterns and stories and I have talked about these on these Wednesdays and at my workshops and in sessions for more than 20 years. To release and let go of these shadow areas through energy work and all kinds of, of spiritual reaching out and connection through modalities of seeing what's held in the body and learning and doing the work, sometimes very painful work that goes on for a long time, of allowing these old forms and stories and identifications and emotional pain to actually be able to release out of us. So many of us feel that we have some deep-seated something wrong with us. We feel we've inherited it from our, our, our ancestors. We feel like we're holding some kind of old something that we can't quite put our fingers on. We feel it. We feel the presence of it within us. We make up names for it. It can, it can grow in, as a belief in us that there's something wrong with our bodies, our minds, our spirits, our brains. It can grow and evolve in us to the point where it becomes extremely real and sometimes life-threatening. Sometimes it can be so strong that it'll undermine our very ability to live a good life or any life. There are, of course, medical and emotional traumas and things that we're dealing with uh, constantly. But the, what I'm addressing here is this kind of overriding feeling that many of us have that we need fixing. I notice it a lot more 
in generations that are younger than me. People in their 40s, 30s, 20s, um, really feel that there's something inside them that needs fixing. It could be emotional, it could be physical. People are very afraid of what's lurking and hiding in their bodies, and that's not only young people, <sighs> that there's something really wrong with me, and I can't find it. And often we will embark on this journey to try to find out what it is. We will try to unearth it. We will go to many types of practitioners. We will be told many sorts of, of assessments of what's wrong with us, diagnoses. And we will hold that diagnosis, or more than one, as, as an identity of us. I have ADHD and therefore I am always and always will be and always have been extremely scattered and blah, blah, blah. We carry these stories and identifications because we feel like there's something intrinsically wrong with us. If you search your body and take a few breaths right now and feel yourself emotionally and physically, mentally, you will see that we have a belief or many beliefs that we are deficient in certain ways, that that's who we are and or I don't know how to fix it. And we will try. And there are many industries built around helping us, which I'm part of. But the truth is, you are not broken. You are trying to evolve. You are trying to heal. You are being called out by spirit, by the universe. You came here to heal issues. You came into this form of life, this material world, to look at and experience in real time with all these senses, what it means to be in need of evolvement, what in us needs to heal. And that's different than going through life feeling the shame and contraction of, and fear, <laughs> definitely fear on top of that list, the fear that there's something lurking inside us. There's a cancer. There's a mental instability. There's an emotional pain, trauma that's so deep rooted. I see it in my mother, my father, my cousins. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. But the truth is that there's nothing wrong with you. What you are in need of is the kind of introspection and facilitation that allows you to really be heard, to be listened to, to be seen, to be appreciated, to have your emotional body freed up to express itself in many, many different ways to have 
your mental abilities able to express themselves, to appreciate your brain, your brain chemistry can work for you or against you. This is healing on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> it is to really go in there and not believe in my shadow, not believe that I am deficient, that I am any less than, to not believe that just because I've had certain experiences that I am doomed to forever be trying to overcome them. There's lots of people and lots of religions and lots of belief systems that would have us stay in this place of needing to be fixed and keep us seeking and keep us looking for the answers. But listen, it's not so much about fixing what's wrong as it is about who you are as you take these rides in life, as you live your days, how do you do it? Who are you? If you do get a difficult medical diagnosis, yeah, we would love to get that fixed. We'll do what we can. And it's about that, but it's not all about that. Really, my work is more about helping you navigate and become whatever it is you're supposed to experience in yourself as you go through the process. And all these processes in life, some of them can just slam us or at least challenge us. The real work is freeing up enough of your life force, of your brain power, of your heart, to determine who you want to be as you live this process, this moment, this challenge. Who do you want to be? What are the qualities of you that are evolving as you face into these various processes of life? Not just running around looking for someone to fix us and take our pain away. Sometimes we need the pain. Sometimes we need the pain to keep us focused on our evolvement. Think about that. Because if we keep trying to overcome the pain and get rid of it and finding people that will help us take it out of us, and yeah, it's nice to be able to fix a broken arm and heal our, our bodies. But pain is often a great teacher for us. And if we keep doing nothing but trying to get rid of it, 
we will keep calling it back. It will show up in another way. We'll choose the same relationships that cause us the similar kind of pain because we're meant to process th those areas in us that are, that are stuck, that are frozen so that we can be released and evolve and find a freedom of heart, of mind, of expression, of growth. So maybe it's time to rethink, reevaluate what it is that you think healing is all about. what you think you actually need in life in order for yourself to grow and evolve. Okay, my friends, thank you for listening or watching. Much appreciation to you, always. If you have any thoughts on anything I ever, that ever comes through in these transmissions, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to be in touch with you. Thank you.